Hey everybody, it's Megan, and today we're gonna take an inside look on how I paint one of my custom designed shirts. Kinda like this one. First, to understand where all the magic happens, I'm gonna take you inside my craft closet. Come on, follow me. Really, when I said closet, I really did mean closet. <laughs> Today I'm going to be transforming a baby jumper, a plain white t-shirt, and a really cool baby denim jacket. So as for my workspace, I like to use parchment paper or something to lay down on my table so I don't ruin it. And I also love, um, you know, turning my ring light around so it faces down. It gives a great source of bright light so I can see what I'm doing while I am painting. As it pertains to painting supplies, I do have a variety of different paintbrushes, but my absolute favorite are these, the Artist Loft acrylic paint brushes. Um, super detailing, super small. I got these at Michael's. Um, I basically live by these detailing brushes. Um, you need them for sure. Um, and because my work is like so intricate um, with lots of details, these are my absolute favorite. And then um, for extra accessories, I have a painting cloth to remove excess water off of my brushes um, or just to, you know, wipe my brushes off of. And I also use a, just a regular Tupperware cap to either mix colors or get rid of excess paint that's on the tips of my paint brushes. Here's a question I get all of the time. What kind of paints? Now, remember we are working on fabric, so you can't just buy any old paint that you would get for paper or let's say for glass. You have to get pretty specific if you want it to come out nice and vibrant and of course, last through those long washes. My favorite paint that I use is the Jacquard Textile Colors for um, fabric. Now, these are pretty expensive um, but they are absolutely beautiful. You can get earth tone colors, regular hues, um, fluorescent colors, and then of course your, your normal uh, primary colors. If you cannot afford this type of fabric paint, my favorite kind to use that I use on my shoes um, is the Craft Smart Premium Satin Acrylic Paint. It's multi-surface. But if you're gonna do a paint like this, you have to get a sealer. Favorite fabric protectors are the ones made by Scotchgard. I do use a little bit more of a heavier duty one, like this one, if, because I usually just Scotchgard my shoes that I paint for people, just because shoes are worn out and um, walk through water. So I wanna make sure that they're extra protected. I would not recommend using this specific one on shirts if you have to seal your shirts. Um, Scotchgard does make a great spray for just regular fabrics. That's someone I would recommend, but definitely Scotchgard is my preferred vendor when it comes to fabric protectors. I'm gonna start with the denim here. I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I do my designs. Um, for denim specifically, I like to um, hand draw out with a fabric marker what I want to do my design um, if you want to do something a little bit more in intricate or um, something that's a little bit more difficult and you do have a Cricut you can use infusible ink for your certain designs I probably will go over how to use infusible ink in another video but again um, my design I drew out here for you you can see I'm gonna put his name up there and I'm gonna get started. done. 
Um, I will probably let this sit and then do a second coat. And then um, for my designs, really, they can take anywhere from one to three days, just depends on what I'm doing. And I can't wait to show you all three designs once they're finished. See you soon.